What we define as spirituality is not the same as what we define it to be. Every human being has a spiritual side. It is to participate in the mystery of being. To solve that puzzle and unravel that secret. Whether we reach adulthood at age 5 or 95, a significant portion of developing a deeper spirituality begins when we finally understand how thoroughly and deeply we are a mystery to ourselves. You need to take a brief break from your ongoing self-criticism in order to experience the mystery of yourself. You need to temporarily put your self-judgment aside. This is a really special and pivotal stage in that person's life. This is the contemplative endeavor. It is delving deeply into the enigma of being. Meditation involves truly delving into that enigma of being, not just thinking about it and philosophizing about it, but doing it experientially, whether you're sitting on a porch in your front yard or in a meditation hall. The distance between us and the mystery of existence is not that great. It is immediately beneath the surface. When you get interested in spirituality, you get all these assumptions about what a spiritual person is. The good thing is that, while you're young, you might not even categorize spirituality. It's simply life. It's not spirituality. Sometimes life appears in an unexpected way, and you suddenly have a very different perception of it. Perhaps you experience a tremendous sense of connection. You seem to vanish into nothingness, or you seem to have an incredibly profound, moving, and life-altering moment of connection with God. Or perhaps you enter a spontaneous samadhi, in which you lose all contact with your senses, everything vanishes, and you become nothing more than a point of consciousness. The deeper dimension of existence manifests itself in a plethora of different ways. I believe it is helpful to consider spirituality in the most normal terms possible. For a human, spirituality is only natural. Even atheists naturally exhibit it. It was like listening to a mystic half the time, in rapt amazement of the beauty of existence, if you could hear scientist Carl Sagan in his mystic awe of the cosmos. Even though he was a scientific materialist, it was his gateway to wonder, connection, and experience. He experienced a profound experience despite not believing in God. It is obvious that his research caused him to experience something akin to religious or spiritual wonder. I bring up naturalness because realizing one's true nature or experiencing one's true nature is not merely a religious or spiritual experience. Even atheists can be actively engaged in a way of being that links them to a higher level of being. So it's obvious that everyone has this innate ability. It doesn't take much attention really, just a moment, to connect with the sense of being this extraordinary conscious mystery if we would just go straight to whatever our felt sense of our own mystery of being just to dip for a moment underneath the evaluations, the ideas, and the judgments of being. Of course, we're not going to stop there. We want more from deep within than just to let everything remain a mystery. That, in my opinion, serves as the starting point. If you lose sight of that starting place, you can spend decades meditating in search of something that is truly entirely intrinsic. And so, according to the ancient, universal teachings found in the esoteric core realms of the majority of spirituality, the advice is to simply enter the realm of the unknown. Be open to unknown, discover the uncharted, 
just pause for a moment. It's staggering how much you don't know about yourself. What is it that is moving, breathing, desiring what you desire while desiring not to desire what you desire? What is it that a person desires? God, awakening, enlightenment, a little bit more happiness and calm in a chaotic life. What do we really mean when we say, I, all the time? We're giving voice to something enormous, and the power is astounding. 